British royalist Petronella Wyatt took a major hit about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's titles and whether or not the Sussex titles should be removed. Interestingly enough, Wyatt argues that the Sussex titles should not be removed. Allowing Harry to come back and perform royal duties would be a bit like giving a terrorist a free run of the Houses of Parliament. He's dynamite but not of the right kind. Besides, he and William would be the brothers Grimm. Nonetheless, those calling for Harry and Meghan to be stripped of their titles are missing the point, and risk a head-on collision with Cape counterproductive, deprived of the dukedom of Sussex. The couple would become more elevated still, as they would revert to being Prince Harry and Princess Harry, titles that can never be removed, as they are part of the prince's inalienable birthright, and a prince always trumps a duke, due in part to the scarcity of such handles. Their website which now boasts the name Sussex.com, a commercialization that some say crosses the line, at least in spirit, of their agreement with the palace, might then read, Prince and Princess Harry.com, which, though a mouthful, would be even worse, implying that they are the world's preeminent royalty, and that Meghan is a bona fide American princess. Sussex has the advantage of making them sound, like a cricket club, with Harry's devotion to his wife and her ambitious machinations, there is something almost noble and brave about it. Wyatt also went on to suggest that Meghan was some kind of magical temptress manipulating Harry. More specifically, they believe Harry is stupid and Meghan is exploiting him, and everything around them. Anyway, Harry and Meghan wouldn't have used their Sussex titles for their website, unless they were certain that Charles wouldn't remove them.